Um, so today we're going to start with congruency, um, congruency of triangles. So when we touched on it last year, just a tad bit, um, we spoke about the word congruent. Congruent basically means um, a, a shape that has exactly the same uh, sh has, it has the same shape and the same size, so it can basically fit identically on top of another shape. So, um, as I explain more, it will make more sense. Um, so the first, um, the first thing it must uh, I've highlighted here for you is the the figure must have the same shape and have the same size. All right, so it must be able to fit identically on top. And then there's a symbol for congruency. The symbol is these three lines. So um, if I look at these, so very importantly, just to make just do a little drawing here, it's not we mustn't get confused with similarity. Okay, because similarity can have can it, it can look exactly the same, but it won't, can't fit on top, it's been reduced to enlarged. So if we look at um, these two shapes over here, they might be um, ident uh, they might look the same, but there's been a reduction. That's not congruency. Congruency means that this, if this was, if this is triangle A and this is triangle B, that the the the, the triangle B can fit exactly on top of the triangle um, A. So these two aren't congruent. All right. So and the symbol for congruency is the three lines. So that's not congruent. So um, to get into basically calculations, which I want to start or show you kids to do. Um, the first thing we need to know is that to we have to prove triangles congruent, and to prove triangle triangles congruent, there are four basic rules. So when the if you can prove that the triangle has um, the two triangle different triangles have um, three the three sides that are exactly the same, then the triangle will be congruent. The triangle has one side and two angles that are are equal, then you know that they are exactly congruent. And um, if it has a side with an included angle side, and I'll explain this one to you now, then you know it's congruent. And if both triangles have a right angle and the hypotenuses are equal and another side, then you know that they are congruent. So I'm going to take these four rules and I'm going to show you, I'm going to match them to these, um, these examples here. Okay, so say now we had to ask you, I had to ask you, okay, I need you to prove that this triangle and th these two triangles are pr are congruent. So if we look at this triangle, um, the first thing I notice is this side is 53 and this side is 53. So I have I have a side that is equal. All right, let me just use rather, let's just use um, a pen, a side that is equal. Then if I look over here, I'll use a different color. I see I've got 39 here and I've got 39 here which means I've got another side. And then if I look at uh, that color, uh, 52 and 52, that means I've got another side. So that means that I can prove that I have three sides equal. So if I have three sides that are equal, then I know that this triangle is exactly congruent, meaning the same size and same shape as that. All right, let's look at the next one next to it. Okay. So if I look at the, this triangle of these two triangles um, for the second one, these two triangles here, um, I have got that's given to me. So first thing I think uh, one thing also I want to show to, like um, lead you guys on is that um, you go what's given to you first. So do you see that I've got this is 35 here and I've got this is 35. So I know I've got a side already. All right. Then I must look now, okay, now I have got a 63 given to me. But do you see this parallel side here? And do you see it's parallel? So I can make a Z. Any different color? Watch this. And I've got an alternate angle. So that means that this over here and the 63 are equal. So I've got an angle. And then... So now I've got a, I've got an S and I've got an A, side and angle. So if I go look now at my reasons, it's, it can only be it can only be this one or this one. So I have to figure out something else now. Like so, I have to go look now at my at my drawing and say, okay, what else do I have that I can prove congruency? I've got a side and an angle. So if I look here, I've got the sixty. It's vertically opposite to that. So I've got another angle. 
So that means in this triangle, this top triangle here, this yellow one, and this teal one, I've got sides that are equal, a side, I've got an angle and an angle, and I've got another angle equal to another angle. So that means that I can that means now that I've got three reasons and I can prove that they are congruent. Okay, so I'm just we just trying to I'm just trying to match these triangles to our reasons. Okay, so this so let me write down that quickly. So this guy over here was SSS. This guy over here, let's write it above. Sorry, I just need some space. Was SAA. Why don't you keep keep caps lock? Let me actually write it below. Uh, SAA or SAA. Okay, let's look at these two triangles. So these two triangles over here, let's check what I have. I have got a six centimeter and a six centimeter. So we've got a two sides, so we've got a side. Oh, let me not write it my sorry about I'm using uh, my mouse as I've been saying sorry the whole day to my kids because I've been using this um I've been using my mouse as my to write with. So I've got a side and let's have a look over here. Let's what else I have. I've got a side and I've got a side. Okay. So I've got another side that's equal. But now have a look here, and this is the one that's called because you're all write it at the start, your kids will go, okay, S S A. Now we don't write it S S A, we write it S A S. I use it to say it's a side included angle side, meaning that the angle, which is 45 and 45, sits between both the sides. So do you see the 45 sits between the 5 and the 6? And the same in this example over here, and in, in this one over here, the 5 sits between. Uh, the 45 sits between the, the, the same side, so it has to sit between the same side. So if this 45 in this one, if this 45 here had to sit over here, then it won't, you can't say side included angle side. So I hope you, you make sense that the 45 has to sit between both the sides. So it has to sit. So does this 45 and this one over here sit? between the 5 and the 6, and does this 45 sit, then you can say, okay, cool, the reason is side, included angle side. All right. Rub that out. Okay, then the next one, the last reason, is called right angle hypotenuse side. Here's it over here, right angle hypotenuse side. So look, in both triangles, do I have a right angle? Do I have a right angle? Yes, yes. Then, do I have a hypotenuse? Remember, hypotenuse is directly opposite. Let me rub that out. Let me use a pen rather. The hypotenuse is directly opposite, remember, the right angle. So do I have a hypotenuse? I'll use green again. Yes, I do. So it's a hypotenuse and a hypotenuse, and they're both 50 centimeters. And then do I have another side? Yes, I have with these two lines, meaning that side and that side. So yes, I have right angle. Right angle, hypotenuse, and a side. Okay. So that's just me showing you how to identify um, if the two triangles are. So so if you want to know if the two triangles are congruent, you have to have, have any of these proofs here. If you have side, 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 side angle, angle, side angle, side, or the right angle, hypotenuse, side. That's how you prove it. Now the setting up, people. The general setup is always when you prove something you always prove it like this you say in triangle and whatever triangle you want so I've put XYZ and ABC but it can be whatever so for example a triangle just above here uh, let's use my I'm gonna stop using the highlighter so look at this one over here it will be in triangle and I've, I've done it over here in triangle ABC he has a triangle ABC and triangle EDC, he has EDC. You have to prove, so let's prove it. So I'll show you now, I'll write it for you. So prove it, so I would say side, um, ED, I'll keep it in caps lock, sorry, ED is equal to AB, then, sorry if it's moving like that, forgive me, um, the next side, EC, and it's not in any order, I'm just looking, EC, um, is equal to CB 
equal to CB. And the last one, it's uh, CD equal to AC. Okay, so let me just know. I don't know why it's not doing that. It should be now. Sorry about that, guys. I'm not going to major on that now. Okay, I got it right. Okay, and then, so I've got those three reasons here. That, that, and that. They're all sides. Some books might even put the centimeters in, but it's fine if you do that. Then I know that they are congruent. Do you see? I said that therefore the triangle is congruent. You should put the three dots here. Therefore, therefore, triangle ABC is congruent. And you have to put your reason at the back of this. So let me put the reason in. And what's my reason? There's only four reasons. Side, side, side. That's my reason. Side, side, side. Right. So that was proving. So they said prove it. Let's look at this one over here. Prove, and this is for this triangle over here. Which one is it? P-R-O. Let's check where P-R-O is. P-R-O. Oh, no. Where did it happen? P-R-O. Uh, D-E-F. Which one am I? D-E-F. And A-B-C. Okay. So I've, let's do this one over here. So I've done that wrong there. Let me just take that out. Uh, D, F, so watch here, let's rather call it, what was it, it's triangle A, B, C, A, eh? A, B, C, okay, so I'm doing that one there, let's see, what are my reasons, let's go, um, I've got a side, A, C, equals, uh, side, D, F, D, F, next one, um, I'm going to do the angle, I can do the side if I want to, you can do whatever we want, so I've done this one first, there and there. If you want to do the 45, you can. You don't have to go and do the 45. You can do it in any order. It doesn't really matter as long as it makes it side, angle, angle, side, angle, side, or right angle, put new side. So I'm going to say angle. Um, you should, I can't get the copy now, but I'll do it here. C, A, B equals um, F, D, E which equals 45 degrees and you should go put that little copy on those that a uh, so that angle a and that angle equal to 45 and then the next one so now I just need to do this a b a b equals d e and so now I've got my three reasons and what is it it's a sad all right with you. so I've got a side I've got an angle and I've got a side and with this one make sure it's an included angle yes it is the included angle in the middle here okay so my reason is they are congruent and my reason reason is side and put capitals on side angle side close bracket so you'll get a mark let me show you where you get your mark you'll get a mark like this here that to three four marks all right and you always prove like that and these are the straightforward ones right they you get complex ones but i just need you guys to understand the straightforward ones where you just have two different triangles sitting on it all right so guys important important things to know is symbol this is the most important the four reasons how to prove congruency and then your setup Please, I need you to take this down in your books. This is the setup. You always set your question up like this. Obviously, that will change because it's different triangles each time. But you're always in triangle, whatever the triangles, and another triangle. One, two, three. You have to prove. And then once you've got three reasons, whatever it is, if it was this one over here, then it would be in the right angle. You would have said angle Q is equal to angle E. You would have said um, side RP is equal to side DF, and you would have said other side of here, this side is equal to that side. So you would have had a right angle, a uh, pot news, and a side. Always set up like this. So I would like you to take these, take some notes down, do it in your book, set up your examples, make this an example, make this an example, and then draw, draw the examples triangles above it. So copy these triangles down, these two triangles. Okay, so let me just make it neater so you guys can see. So what I suggest you do is, 
now for me in your books um, you copy down the symbol it's number one the symbol number two all the reason these reasons over here take down all these reasons um, number three do this example so it's that triangle there and number four take down that triangle over here that example over there okay and then there's an exercise to follow try them i'll put down the answers and i'll recap and i'm on teams if you need me thank you kids god bless